been my green streak. So if we go over to the month of May, you can see that from the 11th of May, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days green on the month of May, 13 days green in a row. I'm not counting that Saturday. That was option plays that uh, ended up closing over the weekend for the expiration on Friday. So I'm not counting that, but still 13 days green in a row. If you go over to my journal uh, today, you can see that I'm up $643 profit. Um, this $25 trade right here was an accident. Um, I was having laggy issues with Thinkorswim, and I meant to close a position. It ended up closing. Um, and then I flattened it and then I closed it. Something happened where I entered a short position with 100 shares. I ended up making $25 on that. So that was kind of an accident. But either way, still traded HUSA twice and then JAN -J once, including that short. So let me go ahead and go over to the trades. Here is JAN first. So we got a little uptrend on pre market. We got one, one touch there, two again, three. And we didn't touch that trend line until market open. On market open, it dipped down below to that trend line. And I tried clicking the buy button down here. This is the one where I got filled later. So I got filled not until 65. So on the way up for that candle, this was the first minute of market open. And we know Thinkorswim is not the best for that. So it's kind of playing at risky, only 3,000 shares. So I got filled on that one. Took out most of the trade at 68. And at this point, the last 500 shares that I had, um, I tried selling 500, and it would not sell. So I flattened the position, and when it flattened the position, it sold it. But I still had that negative 500 sell order going through. So when it flattened and that negative 500 trade went through, I actually went short on it 500, which is why I have 3,000 shares traded on it. So I traded 2,500 buy and then 500 on the way out to sell so it was all within that same candle so somehow i sold the top of that candle re-entered short and then sold lower on that candle because i made money both ways i don't know how that happened i got lucky but <clears throat> either way a hundred dollars on the ticker on that one so that was my very first trade very first minute up a hundred dollars if i go over to husa i'm going to show you guys the trades so you know that they're there um, a lot of buys a lot of sales but I will go back and just explain it. So here they are. You can see on that front run of uh, HUSA, I bought and sold a lot through it. And then one more buy and sell down here towards that second move. So consolidation period happened. I waited for that break. I jumped in on it over there, 1,500 shares, and took my profit on that one. So let me go through all of those trades. Like guys, if you're liking these recaps, make sure to click like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I am going live on YouTube, so you can watch me trade live in the mornings right here. So make sure to tune in and ask me any questions you guys have. So pre-market on this stock was 543. I have it marked with that uh, red line right there, 543. And we do have a downtrend pattern on this one. Very similar to the other one, just the opposite. So this, we got one touch there, two touch three i mean you can count that four five six seven eight whatever it is and then we got there a market open once we took that trade over marker open actually i was anticipating that break so my first trades were in these red candles in here so i was pushing that stock somewhere in here it was my first fills i took my profits there small winners uh, i wasn't really looking for that big breakout but i was just looking for small for small winners um i don't know if i added on this red candle there i might have a little bit so let's go look so I did. I added on that on uh, that tiny little candle there, 500 shares. I took them at 512, so another 10 cent winner there. Um, and then I re-added a little bit more aggressive up here for that break of that pivot point of 520, which was this pivot point from pre-market. So I added at 528, and you can see that one was pretty much a scratch trade. It looks like I got out of the trade um, right before that squeeze, so I let it go. And then some shares I did take all the way to the top. Now, here was my bigger trades. Not bigger trades, but kind of called it out perfectly. So... We got those highs, we got a nice run, and then we started getting a little pullback. And this, I was looking at that same pivot point, right? So the 517. 517 was our next uh, support. When I was up at 517, I said, if these candles come down and you start scooping up shares below it and those candles close above it, watch for the curl back up. If these candle bodies close above 517, watch for the curl back up. And I started adding. I added 500. I think I tried it again somewhere down here. I added 500. If I go to my trades, you could see that I was adding 500. So I added 500 at 521. 
right below that. Um, I sold them, and then I added. So let me see. I added over here at 525. So now that we held that bottom, started coming back up. I added on the first minute candle to make a new high, and give us a dip afterwards. So here you got one, two, three, four candles. This candle is the first one to make a new high, close above it. So I got in on that next one, 500. Um, double topped on me, so I got fully out of that trade um, right up here. And then here is a bigger trade that I had. Once we broke that double top, our next pivot point is at 540. And 540 was being a strong resistance to get to 543. So at that point, when we got that pretty nice candle with volume to go through that double top here and right before that 40, I added on that next one. Let me see how many shares I jumped in on this one. I jumped in with 5,000 shares at 5.33, and that seemed to be my big winner today. So that trade right there put me up $300 on the day. Um, so 5,000 shares at 5.33, right here at that, I mean, I missed the bottom of that candle by two pennies, two pennies again. The lowest is 31, I got in at 33. And my sales were higher up, so let's go see what I sold at. I sold at 37, I sold at 49, um, I sold at... 36 a couple of them 49 was my highest sell so I wrote that candle all the way up nice uh, pretty nicely I don't think I re-entered again so I just took out all of my shares down there that was all of the trades that I had and didn't re-add anything else for next move up um, so we didn't get the next move up so that was good and then here is where I sat all day long uh, being patient right so a lot of people are calling trades on several different stocks um, grab was one of them that was coming up MULN was another one didn't take any trades on that one it was kind of cheap same thing with grab was another one pretty kind of cheap stock not getting very clean moves um, BKs wife somebody was calling out so this one looks a little bit better now in the morning it was kind of low volume but I was just patient waiting for my trades and I identified this range right here of Husa so 517 that same support from earlier and then that 540 which is still 43 that same high of the pre-market so we got above it once could not hold it and went fell back into this range at this point I said if we break that 540 um, watch those candles to hold 540 and get to 550 so we had one attempt right here at a break of 540 flushed another attempt of break of 540 flushed third attempt of 540 didn't get it very good candles on the way up two good engulfing candles I mean you have probably 10 minutes of candles here taken out by two very strong volume broke 540 touched 550 and that candle went all the way below and closed 540 that is not what you want to see flushed again four tries didn't break it I said if we get over 540 and 550 with one candle and we hold it like the first candle to actually close above those levels then you can look for a squeeze then you can look for that move up it was actually somewhere around here when I was about to stop trading on the day I had already said bye to everybody on live and then this candle popped up I said watch that candle to hold that level watch it to close above 550 enter on that next micro pullback so that candle the next candle was 551 the low of that candle was 551 let's go look at my order let's go see what I got filled at 551 I took that trade at 551 got the bottom of that candle and I mean the second I bought again it started flying took some out of 563 so way up here 563 right before that new high of day took some out higher at 570s 569 576 577 79 so all the way up here 579 I was fully out of that trade um, at this point six dollars was around the corner and six dollars was pretty close so if you were still if you had missed that play then you could catch some bounces here off of 5.8 where that support was catch some bounces at 5.8 look for that crawl back up and honestly this right here would have been your next trade right there this is a good candle coming back up off of that 5.8 uh, bottom so all of those body candles right there stayed above 5.83 finally you get that move to the top side double top right there you can get that next micro pullback right there and then get your th trade through 590s all the way up to six dollars and that would have been a good a clean trade right there as well at that point I was already up 500 on this stock and 100 on the other one so I didn't want to give my profit back and I was already uh, saying that I was gonna go off anyway so I ended up actually getting off after that um, so I saw all this move happen left it alone um, but that's about it so still keeping my green streak going 
um, 13 days green today finishing up $640 profit so um, if you like this recap guys just make sure to click like and subscribe if you want to trade live with me and my team go ahead and check us out on tradecaster.com it is completely free or tune in right here on YouTube so I got a couple people that watch me on YouTube and you can do that as well so with that being said, I will be back on tomorrow, 15 minutes before market open is when I start the commentary, look at the gappers, and you guys can look at them with me as well. So, thank you guys. If you like this recap, make sure to hit like, and if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, make sure you comment below. So, y'all have a good day.